What's up you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can probably tell already from the title of the video, today we're going to be testing out an aluminum brightener. Um, some of you probably have heard of Eagle One. It's a, I think it's a mobile brand product or one of those oil, big oil companies products. Um, they have a mag brightener. It's basically an acid that you spray on cast aluminum finishes, not polished finishes and it cleans off like the surface corrosion and leaves like a fresh aluminum finish underneath it. So um, I was gonna get that product, the Eagle One, uh, which I've heard a lot of good things about, but I couldn't find it at my local Napa. They had Eagle One products, but not that one in particular. So what I seen on the shelf was this. So this is Napa's brand aluminum brightener. When you're looking for an aluminum brightener, you want to see stuff like this. Corrosive, can cause burns, danger. That's the signs of a good working product. Uh, you want it to be acidic. The main ingredient, or active ingredient, is phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, ammonium bifluoride. Don't know what that says, but yeah. Pretty much uh, all the ingredients in here are acids um, and it's supposed to kind of eat away at the surface aluminum and leave a, behind a you know bright finish here's what the directions say rinse off excess dirt or grime before applying before use pre-test solution in an inconspicuous area to determine the surface acceptance spray on freely allow 20 to 30 seconds for aluminum brightener um, to penetrate and loosen dirt and grease very stubborn stains may need to use light scrubbing. scrubbing. Rinse thoroughly with water immediately after each application to avoid possible surface damage. So, 20 to 30 seconds is all you need, and uh, you're using an acid, so it's going to act fast. 20 to 30 seconds, rinse it off. Uh, make sure you rinse it off good, because otherwise, if you don't rinse it off, it's going to keep eating away at the surface, and uh, you can damage the surface more than you want to. So. So now that we've talked about the product, let me show you what I'm going to use it on. Given that my background is American classic cars, uh, most of you probably don't know what this is, or at least most of my subscribers. But uh, some of you might know, this is for a project that I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm taking this block in to get some work done, uh, getting it ready to get built a little bit. Uh, but uh, this block is all aluminum and it looks a little grimy as you can tell um, it's completely degreased I wiped the whole thing down and scrubbed it with simple green washed it so uh, there's just like a little bit of I guess corrosion or, or grime built up over the years on this engine block that this aluminum brightener should remove if everything works the way it's supposed to so I'm going to take this engine to the other side of the house and we're going to get working on this. So I got you zoomed in on the engine block right now. I'm just going to do a little test spot like it said. It's an engine block so it being an inconspicuous area is going to be irrelevant because it's all inconspicuous. So I'm just going to give it a quick spray and see what it does after 30 seconds. I'll give it a scrub too. I got a toothbrush just to agitate it a bit. Alright, that actually looks pretty good. Um, so, seems like it accepted the chemical pretty well. So let's uh, get the rest of the block and I'll get to scrubbing and hopefully we can get this done in 30 seconds. Alright, so I think I'm going to do this side and then I'll rinse it off and I'll do the other side just because there's so much surface area to scrub on uh, and I want to get it done in 30 seconds. So, let's get started. So after that one, you can see that this main surface right here is very shiny. I'm actually happy with the surface finish. But um, all these little areas, I guess there's still grease. I didn't clean it off. 
as good as I should have. So uh, maybe I'll have to get the simple green out and uh, hit those up one last time. So I'll do that now. And I'll be back once I finish degreasing it. Uh, I did one better than simple green and I used some... I used some of this stuff, gunk engine cleaner. Um, there's some more aggressive ones, but this was the one that I had just laying around the house. Uh, it cleaned up some of these smaller spots a little bit better. Let me zoom in on that for you. So everything's a little cleaner, but there's still some like some grease and stuff. And uh, I scrubbed it, didn't want to come off. So we're just going to send it and just spray that aluminum cleaner on it and see how clean it gets it. Uh, hopefully at the shop I take it to, they'll give it a clean up. But uh, we'll see. So that already looks, I guess, brighter in a way. Um, so I'm going to do a few more coats of that stuff, and um, I'll show you the final product. All right, so if you take a look here, we have the left case half and the right case half, and the lighting's kind of bad, but this was the one that we cleaned right here. It kind of looks darker on camera, uh, but uh, this is like looks more aluminum colored but you can tell that it's got oxidation on it and stuff. It's not clean. Then this over here, mind you, it's a little wet still. Um, here's a dry spot. It's an actually like a pure aluminum color. It looks pretty good up front right here. So minus some of the, some of the grease and stuff that's still on it, it looks way cleaner, way shinier. All right, so it's a different day. Uh, I wanted to come back when there's a little bit better lighting. Um, but as you can see, I got both of these case halves done and uh, minus some of the grease, which there's still some stuff there, but it's good enough for me for now or I can handle the block without getting grease all over me. But if you take a look at it now, it is a lot... Um, not necessarily shiny, like reflective shiny, but it gives it kind of a clean aluminum look. So I didn't put any over here, so that's kind of what it looked like. Dingy, grimy, oxidized, like right there. But now it's kind of just a, a crisp, just aluminum color, I guess you'd describe it as. But yeah, there's the, the finished aluminum brightened engine block all in all i'm pretty happy with how the aluminum brightener worked out uh, i wish i had something that was a little bit more severe to kind of show you a before and after but the block that i'm working with wasn't too oxidized to begin with uh, i kind of wish i had known about this stuff when i was doing the corvette rims because then i would have sprayed that on there before and seen with that done by itself and then it would probably made it easier to sand and polish everything else up after that point we did what we could what we had to work with. Um, you could see that there was a, a change. It made it look a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I got a lot more videos to come, uh, starting on a new project. So I'll be uploading more frequently. Um, not like every week or anything like that, but more frequently. So there'll be more videos to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.